So if you just saw my uh, my video there of the Dell Volstro 3360, uh, this is a replacement unit because the first unit that I received from Dell, um, the CPU fan was either uh, installed incorrectly or something was wrong with it that caused it not to work. They sent me a secondary uh, unit, which is the replacement, which is the one that you're seeing here in front of you. I've just started it up and I've got the exact same blue screen of death. So now I'm going to start up the unit and go into the diagnostic section and uh, try to find out what's going on with this and, and uh, also call up Dell for a third replacement or simply cancel my order because at this point um, it may not even be worth uh, trying, to, trying to get a, a, another replacement. It's already been, uh, it's been close, close to a month, it's a couple days shy, it's actually four days shy of my original order and this is now the second unit that I've received. So not too pleased with that, um, but let's see what the problem is. So to, to troubleshoot this or to diagnose it, what you gotta do is turn the power key on, turn the power button on, and then hit the, um, the function key, which is the FN key. That's the one labeled in orange in the bottom there. So let's go ahead and power it up, hold down the function key, Let's try that again, actually. I'm gonna hold down the function key and power it up. Okay, there we go. So this here is the uh, Dell Diagnostics. As soon as it turns on, it's gonna go through this cycle here and just uh, ensure that you can see the colors. You choose yes, that you can see the colors. And then what you wanna do is uh, the, the Diagnostics actually starts immediately. So um, once it does that, it's already at 38%, and it's on the issue there of um, a processor fan. Now it has actually indicated that the fan is good, so I wanna see what the next issues are here, because uh, the only other things that it has not tested is the processor, the memory, and then hard drive zero and hard drive, um, hard drive one. So we'll go ahead and do that. The processor has just been finished testing, and uh, it's now looking at the memory. So right now it's at 67% completed, 68% completed. Now I'm hoping that this uh, this diagnostics will actually report what the issue is, so I can I could uh, give Dell a call and give them that um, that uh, error number or error code, so they can then tell me exactly what the issue is, and uh, then we can go from there and try to try to resolve this issue. Now it may just be bad memory, it's, um, it has taken a while on the memory, and uh, going through that right now. Okay, still going on the memory here. Previously when I did this uh, diagnostic, what it actually happened was that um, it stopped midway and it started to beep, indicating that there's an error, um, and uh, it displayed an error code. So I'm hoping this will do that. Uh, we'll do the same thing. If it doesn't do it, then um, I'm kind of in a bind that I can't report an error uh, with them, but I just a blue screen of death, which probably means that I'll have to do a reinstall myself instead of having Dell um, send a replacement. 
I don't mind that simply because I would do the reinstall anyway. I'm not. I wouldn't be using the um, uh, the Dell install, the Dell image. Um, I, I prefer to pre-install the OS myself. So we're now here at uh, 82 percent. taking a bit longer than I thought it would. I'm actually going to let the video uh, continue to shoot while this goes through its, its diagnostics. Let's see if I can get you a different angle on this. Let's see what's actually happening there. As you can see at the bottom here, it is at uh, 84%. It is testing the memory currently. You'll see that over there in that corner. And it currently is step three of uh, seven. So we'll see here now it's at 88% and uh, continuing. It's actually taking longer than I would like. Just want to know what the problem is and get it over with.
Okay, so it's reported back here. No problems can be found with the system. Do you want to run the remaining memory tests? It can take approximately 30 minutes or more. At this point, I'm going to choose to say yes. Um, I'm going to uh, stop the video now, and uh, I'll shoot another video of that test, uh, or the outcome of that test, and I'll report back shortly.